Hi, I'm Michael Bonofsky for vlane.com. I'm in the 2009 uh, BMW 335D, and I promised the other day to show you the new and improved uh, iDrive system. So, down here we have the controller with back option and a few other menus and choices. This joystick moves up and down, left and right, and also turns. There's a turny thing there. So on the main screen, get this close here, we'll start from the top, so go to CD, if you have something playing right now, it'll show up, uh, you move the, jog the dial left, this is my iPod, so you go through here and it's, it's sort of like a funnel, so uh, if you want to sort by genre, if you want to sort by artist, what you can do, uh, please don't laugh at my amazing, uh, amazing list of music, but you do block party and then you can actually go to an individual album and then if you hit start play that'll just do the whole album if you do tracks it'll actually do only the ones from that album now moving back it's quite easy to go back and forth um, but again this uh, you have to kind of redo this so if you have block party selected then you have to go back and hit all artists and then all albums is automatically selected and you can just select you just hit play and then it will do random or whatever um, if you actually jog the dial to the right you'll see on the side of the screen here a little plus arrow if you hit the dial to the right this is this screen here uh, if you go far right it's available on pretty much every single menu so it's really convenient if you're driving at night you can switch off the display very easily you can do random very easily and I think this is for if you have a USB stick you can actually import things into the hard drive um, so just one tap of the menu it'll go right back to the main menu uh, the radio goes <laughs> right to version radio apparently but this is automatically populated as you drive so it'll sort them by the ones that the uh, the FM transmitter can pick up these are apparently the strongest ones, I would assume. Likely sorted by, it looks like they're sorted by name as well. So very German and very precise way to do things. It has, you can get satellite radio. This uh, vehicle isn't equipped with it. And tone and, and whatnot, standard, pretty standard menus. But it's very easy, as you can see, to move um, forward and back through these, through these things. Now my telephone uh, I've got uh, my iPhone paired with uh, Bluetooth, so these are actually just lists of people, which I won't really show you, but, <laughs> um, so you can go through there, uh, actually, you know what, I'll pick, I'll pick myself, so hopefully my friends don't, uh, don't really mind, if you go there and there's only one number, it'll actually dial me right away, and that's my own phone, so I don't really know what will happen, to be honest, um, but you can go through and, uh, and pick and choose. When you go to a contact with uh, two numbers, you can actually, uh, there's a little icon if it's a cell number, a business number, or a home number, which is really good. That's automatically populated from the data right from your phone. So as you're driving, um, I don't know about you, but I have a really hard time remembering people's numbers because I just program them into my phone and I look if it's home or cell and that's it. I never really rem uh, memorize the numbers. So it's good here as well. So you're not just calling people on a whim. Uh, this is, uh, if you hit back, you can do these wonderful things with your with your phone attached. Hitting menu again, we'll move down to navigation. Um, it's quite easy, you just do uh, Canada. The town is by this wonderful jog dial thing, so I'm just gonna pick a town if you see it on the right, you just uh, move right. And the nice, nice thing is, as you move down the menu, uh, the map changes. So these are all the towns that it's picking up, which is great because if you know the general uh, area, um, you know, it'll work quite well. So pick New Brunswick, and this obviously just searches by the streets. So there's only one. Oh, it's Orchard Lake, or Orchard Lane, I guess, uh, which is right there on your screen. And if I hit enter again, 
and hit start guidance it will go right there the other interesting thing if you do points of interest you can actually this will be right at the destination so if you know you're going to Montreal or something or you know you're going to Atlanta or whatever you can actually do uh, these are travel the category so you go oh I, I, I want to know what's a good restaurant or well it doesn't tell you what's a good restaurant of course but uh, you can do restaurants and then it'll actually search this is everything in New Brunswick that's interesting apparently the other cool thing is if you want to go to Dairy Queen they have the number as well so you, this will uh, load right into your Bluetooth and it'll call right from the car which is a great feature as well very easy to use very intuitive going back to menu uh, contacts this is like your vehicle contacts as well and this is um, can be populated by the uh, contacts that are paired in your telephone um, BMW assist I'm in Canada right now so these services are slightly different if you're in the US but if you're in Canada um, concierge is basically you call up and you ask them it's sort of like OnStar so you can ask them where something is like a a certain restaurant they can find the the data and beam it down to your car if you'd like uh, they can help you retrieve things uh, you know numbers of BMW dealers that sort of thing uh, messages uh, this will be anything that uh, your car has as far as messages now in Europe you can actually uh, your car has an email address through BMW assist and you can say go on Google Maps find an address email it to your car and then this will show up in your messages thing so it's really interesting you can also you know have someone on the phone say uh, you know honey I, I can't remember where that uh, dinner reservation is can you email me the address so she'll email the car and then as you're driving it'll come up on your screen that you have a new message you click uh, you know the address to navigation and then you're right there it'll the car will figure things out and, and tell you how to get there the vehicle info is interesting as well. Apparently, the the BMW guy told me that you can get the actual uh, owner's manual on the screen. But I've been looking and looking and looking, and I don't know if it's not this model or if it's a different car, if it's maybe the 7 Series. But I assume that this will be in the 3 Series very soon. Obviously, these things filter down to the lower models on the range. So you have onboard info. This is my average uh, liters per 100K, 6.9, which is quite good. Uh, trip computer and vehicle status you can actually go in it says you know the tire pressures are good you can go through and reset your tire pressure things uh, check services you can actually go how many kilometers do I need to go uh, before the front brakes need changing and it'll tell you right there which is interesting I don't know how the car knows it <laughs> I don't know if it's based on service or if it's based on uh, you know how many laps of a track you're doing I don't know if that number will go down very quickly and settings just goes in and, and I mean you can change pretty much anything in the car these things like uh, climate I mean you can set these times activate times for parked car ventilation so if you know you're gonna be uh, in a parked in a hot city you're gonna go in for lunch you maybe want to turn on the fans halfway through lunch keep the car relatively cool you can do that Whoops, went back two menus there. Uh, lighting's like stuff that people really would have to have a lot of time on their hands to do. Like lock if no door is opened. I don't know, maybe that's, maybe that's an important thing, maybe it's not. Uh, one other really, really nice feature with this car, uh, we'll just go back to the menu here, is that down here, you have these numbers uh, 1 to 6 so th this looks like your standard uh, 6 disc uh, CD changer or whatever which can be if you're in the CD mode but the really interesting thing is I'll, I'll put you back up to the screen in a second when you run your fingers over these numbers just lightly they're actually uh, context sensitive so you can go into uh, say navigation program your favorite restaurant maybe a couple cities away in number one and then whenever you hit number one it'll take you right to the navigation system and navigate you to where you want to go you can set one to trip computer you can set one to um, you know certain vehicle settings you want to change or whatever uh, contact that you frequently dial 
it, it's a really really neat feature so I'll go up here and I'll just show you how slick it is I'll roll my my finger over these numbers and as you can see it changes these things um, I don't know why there's German addresses in but it's pretty interesting and then if you go into say this one and you hit in it'll actually show the destination and then you can go right in and the arrow uh, on the display. and there we go she starts uh, she starts barking at you for <laughs> for not going the right way so that's a, a little tour of the iDrive um, so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, that will be my last update with the video camera for the 335D.